Good morning, everybody. It's currently 8.30 in the morning. Uh, we have a morning session. Uh, sound check is at, or rehearsal sound, sound check is at 9, 9 and 9.30. And then the service is at 10. Um, and then we have a service tonight. And then Gabriel and I fly out tomorrow at, we fly out at 5.43 in the morning to go back to Maryland. So um, it's gonna be a quick day. Last night we stayed up super late, stayed up editing the vlog. Uh, DJ stayed up mixing the stuff for the video. So the video, videos are gonna actually come out sooner rather than later. And then here's Gabriel. Yeah, you already ready, cuz? All right, y'all, this is gonna be a, more of an educational vlog. Uh, we're gonna talk about some music technical stuff in today's vlog. As you can tell from the title of this vlog, it's gonna be a little bit different. So stay tuned and uh, yeah, here we go. Let's get this day started. Early bird gets the worm, you know what I'm saying? We're all here early, so I thought I was gonna be the first one here when I got here, but the sisters beat me to it. It's all good though. So two songs this morning, we're doing uh, Have Your Way by Jalen Young, Once Are, and then uh, and then we're doing Pour It Out by my brother Kevin Daniel. So, all right, y'all, we're gonna get to rehearsal. Talk to it about it. Well, today we're doing a CCM uh, set, now, so. Uh, is there a call and answer between the two of them by themselves? So I brought out the <laughs> joint. Yeah, so the HX stomp. Right. You know. Hey, so stop on the HX. Yeah, so I'll be stopping the devil. And you know. And I'm using my pick. Pick? Why, why the pick? Because it just gives a better aggressive yeah. tone for uh, CCM. And, you know, I mean, you want me to show you? I, I want to see how it sounds in the house too, so let's see. So. Different tone compared to the finger. Do the finger. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah big time. Big time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then Ableton. Always. All, all, all the bandmates are tired, y'all. They're all tired right now. But it's all good. We're still going to go up in the CCM, CCM style. DJ, you already know. Y'all, something else happened that sound check that was so funny. So if if any of you are watching, you've ever like, you know, we've ever worked together and I've been the MD and I have a talk back. You guys know that I act up when I have the talk back. So uh, during sound check, I started singing the tenor part and I told the sound guy, Brother Frost, I was like, Brother Frost, put me in the house. And I see one of the, one of the ladies uh, in the in the in the in the backup singers, she just starts running, and I was like, "Oh, she must have felt the spirit with my tenor." Um, but I, I didn't pay much mind. You know, we kept doing sound checks, so I was like, "Okay, you know, maybe she has to use the loo or something." Um, so she she comes back running, and she was like, "Hey, your talk back isn't like it's not a singing mic," and I was like, "What do you?" Oh, I was like, no, I, I was just joking. And she was like, oh, oh, okay. And then she was like, I ran for no reason. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. That's all y'all need to know. Somebody on the shout that you expect everybody, that you expect one of the biggest to be filled. What? Wake up. What? How many believe that we're here for a break out of the Holy Ghost? <laughs> Oh, my God. 
to learn some kind of a system that would help them have more of a presence in their city. Something under your foot, you're prospering against it. You are taking victory over it. So if you're not walking, you're not going to take authority over anything. And the reason why a lot of us hesitate to go on this kind of journey All right, so service is over. People are still lingering. We're gonna pack up, get some food, and then uh, DJ and I have a special segment on tuning. So for all my drummers, we're about to give you a treat. So thank you guys for watching this far. As I was just telling them, we're, we're gonna talk about tuning tonight. Oh yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. It's gonna be great, y'all tune in. Thank y'all for watching this far. Tune. Tune in, stay tuned while we talk about staying tuned. Staying tuned while you tune in. Because you already know who, who it is. What up, y'all? So, right now it's currently 1 32 in the morning. Angie's so pretty, isn't she? But um, we have to leave here at 4 30 in the morning because our flight is at 5 uh, 40 or whatever. So, uh, DJ's here, did an incredible job. We're actually here um, working on, on his computer on some of, the, some of the mixing for the upcoming videos from this conference, these are Fire Conference, so um, he's doing a great job mixing with that. Stay tuned for that, uh, make sure to subscribe for, for that. So you, and turn on the, the bell notifications too, he's also gonna post so my uh, videos are gonna be like mainly keys and bass because you can see that in the camera and then his is gonna be mainly drums. But we're both gonna have shots from. Come here, bro. Stop oh playing. yeah. We're both gonna have shots from from. Yo. Drums. So it's your boy DJ. You already know what it is. You, you literally know. already know who it is. If you don't know by now, make sure you go and subscribe to his channel. Uh, you you his, told him the time already, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's one thirty-four. So. Look what time. Oh, they can't see. I was gonna say, look what time it is right now. Where we in the East Coast? 4 East Coast is four thirty a.m. in the morning. That's very bad. That's crazy. So, um, yeah, make before before we keep watching the vlog, and thank you guys for watching this far. Make sure you subscribe to his channel. Yeah. He's on the come up. He, you Appreciate told me you're posting three times a week right now. Monday, two times. Mondays and Wednesday. Mondays, Mondays and Thursdays. I'm sorry. Mondays and Thursdays. So make sure he. Not only is he killing on Damn. drums, killing producer. Killing the Ranger, killing keys. Uh, yes, but man. we're not here to talk about any of that. We're here to talk about tuning. We're talking about tuning today. Uh, so, real quick, I'm going to put a timer for five minutes. Okay. You think you can break down tuning from the beginning? For, for like somebody that just plays drums and has no idea. Mm -hmm. what, like I've gotten so many text messages from, from friends and so many comments from people like, hey, like that was a level of technicality that I've never even... Drummers! That I've never even experienced. So, all right, five minutes on the clock. I know you see it here. Go ahead. Okay, tuning. Cool. That's crazy. I've never done that before. So, um, tuning. My bad, guys. You know what that is? <laughs> In five minutes, it's that video. It's that song from anyways. But anyways, uh, tuning drums. We gotta restart. That clapped me. All right. You know what that was? Yeah, the Kimbrell song. When I looked it up from the church. Yeah. It all was right. Still playing. All right. All right. All right. Tuning. All right. Tuning. So. The number one thing, we got five minutes, 4.55, about tuning is obviously you want to make sure the drums sound good. Now, the, if you go on YouTube and you search, you know, how to tune drums, there's so many different ways to do it. Some people tune the keys. Um, I mean, I, I tune the keys depending on what song I'm doing. Um, if I'm working with someone for the first time that's never tuned before, I wouldn't suggest that you try and learn to tune to specific keys. Would you say that's like the top yeah. level of expertise in tuning? Yeah, that's okay. where that's where you know you're starting to get really difficult. The reason why I brought my phone is because I wanted to be able to bring out a piano because I don't have a perfect pitch. So um, right now I'll tune like according to fifths. Um, so if I start with my eight inch, you know, being A flat, that means the the next drum a fifth away from. A flat is E flat. e flat. So also to drummers out there, it's really important that you guys try to, um, even even if you start with C, you know, learn the basic major scale. 
uh, so that you can understand, you know, just fit, just intervals so that you can understand like tuning. Um, but yeah, so again, that's an advanced way of tuning, you know, trying to learn, you know, tuning in keys. Um, and it's, it just, it's just, you don't want to get into that. The number one thing I would for beginners tell a beginner to do is, um, try if, for example, if E, e flat, B flat, F, we can start with something like that. Cause most drummers have, they have a 10, they have a 12 and they have a 16. Mm -hmm. So you can try and do, um, E flat on your 10 inch. And I'll explain, you know, because I have three minutes, how you can get E flat and you can apply the same exact method to the other toms. So you want E flat to be the bottom rezzo of your of your drum head. So you have the rezzo on the bottom and the top you have the batter. So the bottom of the drum, you're gonna want that note to be E flat. I wish I had a drum here, but on the drum you have all the, the lugs and everything there. You have to tap each one of them until you hear E flat. Now I promise you, it's gonna sound crazy. Tune, learning how to tune drums takes time. Like it's, yeah. it's not gonna happen in it's one day. Like you're gonna you're gonna think you're going crazy sometimes. You just the the main thing is you're gonna have to do it all the time. You're gonna have to, you know, since I used to just practice, I would just untune and like and like you know just tap the drum and see if I can hear it. You know, and it's weird because sometimes you'll hear like you'll hear like. You'll hear like two different notes at the same yeah. time. Um, but you basically just, you know, you're turning the key, you're tapping around, you're hearing E flat, and you might hear like, uh, like a little sharp, nope, that's that's sharp, you know, I gotta tune that down. You know, this one, okay, this one's a little sharp, tune that down. Go around each one. You know, if this is the drum, you're just tapping around the surface. Don't hit in the middle, because you're gonna be confused. You're gonna get a whole different note. You start there, get E flat. All around, I really wish I had a drum mm -hmm. so I could explain to them and like show them. But you guys can go back and refer to the vlog that you know Julian posted, and you can just post a clip here, like or put the link somewhere here that they can see that where I was tuning to a specific note, going around and doing that. You know, so I'll tune, I'll tune the bottom to E flat, and I'll tune the top to B flat, a fifth away from that, and that's actually going to give me the note E flat. So. Um, E flat, B flat, F. Just focus on that for now. You know, you 10 inch E flat, second song B flat, and then F to be on your your 16 just to get started. You don't want to, and I'm 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 promising you. I'm telling you with the 48 minutes seconds that I have, like it's gonna be frustrating when you first start out. Some people, you know, don't tune to to any keys. They're literally just like, just. Tune a bottom to one note, get all all of the, the 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 lugs to all be the same note, and then they'll do the same thing on the top. And mm -hmm. you're you're obviously going to get some note. Yeah. You don't know what it's gonna be, but you know, just practice making sure that every lug around it is, you know, the same note. Yeah. That's really important. Yeah. You know. I I mean I would just recommend if you're a drummer, uh, and you're like man, you know, honestly looking at at music theory might be a little over my head yeah just look up the notes like do do a dj does just look up the notes on google it'll show you the name of each note know that you got e flat b flat and f find it and then download the app on your phone and just yeah. try it because it, it, it really does make a difference we we're editing or we're mixing the the stems mm -hmm. from the services and it's just the way like we don't even have to do anything to the toms and that's really what more than anything this is about. Like sometimes we get so used to like presets and triggers yeah. and stuff that it takes away from like the time and it, it makes us kind of lazy to not put in the extra time to get the extra sound or the extra result that we want. Like we, we didn't really have to do much to the drums. No. We just had to level them, but the sound was there mm -hmm. as opposed to being like, oh, well, I'll just load samples and then post. And I won't really worry about tuning. Like, no, you want to make sure that as a drummer, your sound, your your toms are singing. Yeah. Your toms are singing, and when you apply that um, method to tuning your drums, they're gonna sound great. And yeah. they did sound great throughout this whole conference. Yeah, you guys can check that out. And and man, thank you for for having me to be a part of this. Honestly, guys, if you have any questions, just reach out to me. Yep. Uh, it's, it's 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 really difficult to try and explain like tuning toms in five minutes, <laughs> but you know, I put you in the, I put you in the, in the hot one. seat, but, but here's the thing, honestly, just reach out to me if there's any way that I can help 
I will do that because I promise you, you will play drummer, you will play better, you will feel uh, just way better, you know, sitting down at the kit and, you know, being confident, knowing, wow, like, this sounds good, it's going to make yeah. you play better. That's true. Versus just, like, sitting down and, um, I mean, you can be, there, drummers can be numb to playing drums that don't sound good. Mm -hmm. uh, and then when you sit on a kit that has been taken care of, cleaned and tuned, that's another thing. When you tune, you want to make sure you clean all the wood out of your drums because that also can affect the, yeah. the tone of the drums, the sound, all that. It'll make resonance. Exactly. Again. Um, and it's comfortability. It's like Julian sitting down at a keyboard to play that's dusty. Mm -hmm. You know, he's going to be uncomfortable. It's not going to be, it's going to be like, oh man, this needs to be cleaned. You know, yeah. so it's the same thing with, with the drums. So again, we don't have enough time, but you know, you can DM me on Instagram, D McLean uh, Jr. Um, or you can just literally hit me up on YouTube. Uh, in the comments um, on any video, and, and we can we can connect that way. So, thank you to Julian again. Shout out to Julian for you know having me on here. So, yeah. Nah, you you gotta do a video like on your own page of yeah. how to, yeah, how, and then like that could be a whole like thirty minute video yeah. that you literally go step by step. Yeah. So make sure to subscribe to his channel well, right I'll now. He that. he has a lot going on with like work and music and stuff. We're doing a record yeah, together that we're like both producing at the same time in May. Yeah. May, so that's coming up, but just make sure you know you subscribe and, and you follow. Julian will let you guys know when that is, so if, if you want to show up, oh yeah, it's gonna be crazy. Oh yeah, we're not gonna give any details, any secrets, but just know it's gonna be a good one, nice. and we're praying for God's grace. So all right, y'all, I told y'all that this vlog was gonna be more on the technical, musical aspect of it. Usually they're more fun and you know, kind of seeing what we're doing and hanging out, but this one was was for all the drummers. And just remember. Like at the end of the day, we do all of this for God. Yeah. So spending the extra try time to like try to perfect the sound or, or make it sound great, it's not just so we can sound good and you know be smacking or whatever. It's also the offering that we we present to God. Yeah. And it doesn't matter if you have a drum set that costs ten thousand yeah. dollars or if you have a drum set that costs one hundred and fifty dollars. God looks at the heart. Yeah. He doesn't look at how good the toms might sound. He just yeah. looks at. Wow, this individual is really putting With in the, the time, time to make sure that the offering that they're pleasing to me is, is, is acceptable and yeah. is excellent. Yeah. So excellent to you might be something completely different that is excellent to him. But as long as God is pleased and God yeah. is glorified at the end, that's all that matters. And trust me, trust me, yeah. God really looks at that and he'll use that. He'll start to elevate you yeah. and, and take you to higher levels and, and new places and stuff like that. But it all starts with the heart. So yeah. this this was just kind of like a little. You're taking us. Julian's taking us really deep because I don't I don't know. I'm sure Julian has has probably maybe experienced in the past. You know, I came up where sometimes a lot of guys didn't want to share this type of knowledge. Yeah. And like this is really powerful that he's even doing this. You know, even yeah. having me, I'm grateful because man, like it's important for us to share that that knowledge. You know, this gift that we have doesn't really belong to us. Nope. You know, it's, it's all God. Who are we to exactly. withhold information that's so, not even exactly. uh, ours? So this is this is this is great what he's doing and this is why we share this type of stuff to, you know, help, you know, better edify the kingdom of God. So I, I completely second that. So this is great. Yep. So just be on the lookout guys. We're gonna try to put out as much material to yeah. help out. And if you guys have any questions or anything that you are wondering, we've we've kind of gone through it by ourselves alone. Yeah. Cause you yeah. and I have yeah. both both yeah. gone through that. Like we yeah. want help, and people just kind of give us yeah. the cold shoulder. So yeah. now that we're kind of uh, doing some things on our own, we want to definitely be a resource. So I I know I'm working on some stuff that's gonna benefit and help a lot of people. Cause in traveling, I hear a lot of music directors ask about Ableton yeah. and tracks and stem. So I'm working on the whole series. On that with Angela, we're like I, I, the reason why it's taking so long is because I really wanted to help and I really wanted to be under uh, like for it to be easy understood. I don't yeah. even know if that makes sense. No, it does. Trust it's me. like five I'll in the morning where course. we're from. Yeah. But we're like I'm working on that. He's gonna work on the tuning series. Yeah. Just make sure y'all stay tuned because we're we're really an open book. Yeah. We're really an open book and, and such as we have, we will give unto all of you. Yeah, man. So with that, subscribe, subscribe. I'll I'll put his uh. His actually, not, matter of fact, I just turned it so I don't have to edit. Right. Can y'all see it? DJ McLean, just look it up on YouTube. DJ McLean. That's it. Um, that's it. That's all. So that's it man, for today. Huh, we went 13 minutes, man. All right, it's not bad. This vlog is gonna be pretty long, but it's yeah. all good. We love you all. Thank y'all for tuning in. Fire Conference 2022. Great time. Stay tuned for the videos. We're out. Slap the camera with your hand. Boom. That was good, bro.